Yeah, let's go. Yeah, you can't see him there yet. Maybe at a thousand subscribers, but that's the that's the special room. That's the art studio and museum and gallery and everything combined. And I just have a few of these little art pictures in the hallway there. The originals were painted with coffee. These are just prints, but. The lady kind of redid some masterpieces and just added coffee to them, so they're pretty cool. And they're all kind of neat in there. And let's go out for the afternoon. We're going to make the last of the dark roast coffee. It's been a rich, I mean, we might not get that much of it next time, but um, it's a really good coffee. But it's super rich to drink a lot every day. So we have the last bit. We're going to get some of the medium dark today, but and we're going to whip them out in the machines and have a few. and. I decided to go ahead and take apart the old cube mill. It's always been a little bit of a disappointment since the minute I got it. It never really is. It's been a long saga, but anyway, it broke many times, and I had to figure it out. Not even the La Pavoni could, but this adjustment wheel, I have two now, a backup. I thought it might have split again, but two of them already split. They just can't take the vibration or something, but... And I pulled it apart and actually this held together, but this time it was this little plastic, the main drive wheel. And if you look closely, the little gear was spinning in there. I kind of cut a new channel, a new gear with my um, little X-Acto knife, but it didn't last long because it always tends to, just like Murphy's Law, stop in that one spot. And then it started another one, so... It just tended to stop right in the spot with the flaw. So I ordered a new one. It's coming um, La Machina. And I've got a new silver base for the delayed machine. So we're going to make that. We kind of changed around a little bit on that and delayed it. But let's go ahead and look at some um, steam knobs. Yeah, so here there's a new thing I discovered. Because all mine always had the pin that went through that you had to pound out. But just by looking on the groups, and, and I did have one because the one person had one that has a little screw. You can see it has a little bigger hole. It's kind of beveled out. And then the other one has a hole that goes all the way through. Just It's not really beveled out. But that's the one with the pin that I'm used to. I've always seen. But it turns out there is a little different one that doesn't just have that hole. It has a little screw in there that you pull out, just a little tiny one. And look, there's no hole on the other side, so that's probably the telltale of which one you have, which is pretty logical. So let's go ahead and take out a pin. This is the way I've always been doing it. I, I wish I had a little longer punch, but I've had this one, and I've always used it. It just fits in there. This is an old one that's... I always hate doing this, but this is an old one that's been stubborn, so I'll go ahead and um, smack that a couple times. And then you can see it pops out. Mine doesn't shove it all the way through, but I guess that's all right. And sometimes I guess you can pull it, but we'll just get out the old workhorses here. And hey, slipped off. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And there you go. And you see you just got a little pin that holds that in. And then this is the other one. I have it apart because I needed the little locking ring nut that wasn't on one of them and mysteriously so I got one it was this one which was one with the little screw and so that's pretty easy to put back on once you have it apart I got the little locking nut on and the new washer and I'll just screw that baby in it's actually a little easier process with this one but you know you might get sliding if the nut's too tight or something but anyway both have something about them but this one's pretty easy and you just pop that on an allen wrench I just put it on there because it's kind of little and you don't want to like knock it around or drop it or something and go through that aggravation it just pops on there and then you just screw it in so that's a pretty easy process so I can see and I believe that Max and some of those guys said there's one that screws on that has the pin all the way through I couldn't find a version of that that I had but I'm sure there's one of those somewhere and that may that probably is true so You'll have one of them, but no matter what, if there's two holes, the pin goes through. If there's one, you unscrew it with the little tiny Allen wrench. And um, that, you can figure out the size of that, because that's the fun of doing this. So anyone can do this stuff. And there you have that one in, so. 
that's just a little new discovery. You always figure out something. So, and with a pin, you just kind of pop it in there. This one went in pretty easy with pretty light. You may have to do that a couple ways with the other side, but they're on. We got the locking nuts and they have both versions. So that's the two you're probably going to see one or the other. And there we go. Remember to subscribe because there is a contest to shows again if you watch there's a contest you win a nice bag of Hawaiian coffee but no one's figured it out it's not that hard and we always have the hundred subscriber